right, chemists, so here we are. We're going to look at how to do our, or how to set up our ethanol fermentation. So fermentation of glucose into ethanol. Now it's pretty simple. This, this is just for the setup. So what we have here is we have an Erlenmeyer flask or a conical flask with a sidearm and a rubber bung that will go in there. We have a uh, measuring cylinder which has 25 mils of 10% glucose solution. So that is our source for the fermentation. Um, we, right here we have lime water and here we have a test tube full of lime water. Now when you pour lime water we want to be very careful so not to shake it up. We also have yeast and wine nutrient which is going to help feed the sugar in, uh, help feed the um, the yeast just a little bit, just to help it along. So the first thing we do is we put our glucose solution, 25 mils thereof, into our conical flask. Now we can actually add a little bit more. I would suggest maybe bumping up to 50 mils, but we're just putting that in so you can see. All right. Now we put in our yeast. Again, very straightforward. Put a little bit there, not too much. We just want it to be able to react. Now, you're going to measure how much ethanol is made later on. There are two ways to do this. You can do this via distillation or via um, measuring the amount of carbon dioxide. So, give it a little shake. Now, the next thing I would get you to do is I would get you to weigh this to see what it was, but we'll talk about that later on. So we so weigh it, weigh it now, um, record the mass, and when we're finished fermenting, we're gonna record the mass again to see if there's a change. You now set it up so that this tube, rubber tube, is submerged into the lime water. Now it won't sit like this hanging in nothing. This will go into a hot water bath or a warm water bath at about 30 degrees to make it not a nice temperature for the yeast to grow. So that's our experiment. I'll insert a photo of what it's going to look like in the hot water bath. And yeah, let's get it going.